Welcome to my channel. This is Daily News Clips. I just have two items for you today. But before I get into those, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for subscribing and thank you especially for commenting. I really do appreciate it. The first item, as you can see, is an exclusive that Liz Cheney and the January 6th committee suppressed exonerating evidence of Trump's push for National Guard. Now, I have to tell you, I don't like politicians very much, but the ones I like the least are the ones who lie. And Liz Cheney lied, flat out simple lied. I'm going to read this to you. And I want you to think about what kind of a politician would do this. <clears throat> Rather than telling us the truth, she lies. And for what purpose? She has some kind of an agenda. And it's clearly not to help the American people. Cheney and her committee falsely claimed they had, quote, no evidence, unquote, to support Trump officials' claims <clears throat> that the White House had communicated its desire for 10,000 National Guard troops. In fact, an early transcribed interview conducted by the committee included precisely that evidence from a key source. The interview, which Cheney attended and personally participated in, was suppressed from public release until now. Deputy Chief of Staff Anthony Carnado's first transcribed interview with the committee was conducted on January 28, 2022. In it, he told Cheney and her investigators that he overheard White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows push Washington, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser to request as many National Guard troops as she needed to protect the city. He also testified President Trump had suggested 10,000 would be needed to keep the peace at the public rallies and protests scheduled for January 6, 2021. Ornato also described White House frustration with Acting Secretary of Defense Christopher Miller's slow deployment of assistance on the afternoon of January 6, 2021. Now, we've already found that all, there were a lot of lies told about January 6, lies of omission where they left out videos that are now coming to light that show that people did not do what they claim they did and people have been arrested and charged and convicted of crimes that they did not commit and the proof is in the videos and the videos were withheld from them in their in their trials so hopefully all of those people can get a, at least get a new trial if not get their convictions overturned but this is despicable Cheney frequently points skeptics of her investigation to, to the government publishing office website that posted, she said, transcripts, documents, exhibits, and our meticulously sourced 800-page final report. That website provides supporting documents to the claims made by Cheney and fellow anti-Trump enthusiasts. However, transcripts of fewer than half of the 1,000 interviews the committee claims it conducted are posted on that site. So they didn't post the transcripts. <laughs> they lied, plain and simple. Liz Cheney lied. Liz Cheney is a liar. She's a despicable human being. It is unclear how many of the hidden transcripts include exonerating information suppressed by the committee. Well, of course it's unclear because we don't have access to them. But somebody got a hold of this document and guess what? They busted it wide open. <sighs> I'm telling you, this stuff just disgusts me. It really, really disgusts me. The other subject that I have for you, and of course I'll put the links in the description. The other subject that I have for you is the... CDC is now recommending that elderly people get another COVID booster. My recommendation to you, stay away from the mRNA vaccines. They are unproven and they have shown to have deleterious effects that can really hurt people. Heart infections, Bell's palsy, Guillain-Barre syndrome, 
lots of strange and odd effects that make you wonder just exactly what these mRNA particles are doing inside your body. If you really feel like you need to get another booster, look for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. That vaccine is based on the dead virus cells, which is the, it, it's the way that we've always done vaccines in the past. And the vaccines we've done in the past are dependable. So if you gotta have another one, get that one. I got two of them. When I went to get my second one, the guy suggested to me, you know, you might want to get an mRNA vaccine just so you get a different type of vaccine. You, you mix up the two. And I looked at him, I said, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to take an mRNA vaccine. He said, okay. <laughs> and he gave me the Johnson & Johnson. Not going to do it. I don't trust them. The way that science is nowadays, it's completely woke and it's not doing science the way it should be done. <clears throat> the best outcomes are not what they're looking for. They're looking for outcomes that fit the narrative. So I would not trust them. So of course, like I said, I'll put those links in the description so that you can have them. <clears throat> and as always, I pray for you. I pray that you will have an abundant life, that you will be healthy and that you'll live a long time. And I pray that you will be kept safe by God. <clears throat> and I pray that he'll do the same for everyone that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.